Happy New Year's Eve. My camera needs to focus. There we go. I'm sorry. I look like a complete rat turd right now. How many times do I say that in my vlogs? I'd like to know. I wonder if I went back through all my vlogs how many times I've said that. I thought I would vlog today because I didn't vlog on Christmas and my birthday I kind of had a little bit of a rough start to it so I didn't vlog on my birthday either. So I figured I'd just go ahead and vlog today even though I've got to work here in a little bit. Finally getting to taking my Christmas stuff down. I hate taking my Christmas stuff down. I think this is another reason why I'm more of a Halloween person. That's what I'm going to tackle today before I go to work. I have to make me something to eat. And then I'm also going to fix my face, put on some makeup, and probably take a few little pictures. I don't really get to do much because I am the closing cashier tonight at my work, so I'm not going to get to do a whole lot as far as like celebrating on New Year's Eve, but when I come home I am going to have uh, a little something to drink, and I should be home before like the ball drops, so I'll get to watch that and still celebrate that, so that's good. But I am very excited. I'm looking forward to the new year. I'm looking forward to having a fresh start. I still have to film like my goals and ambitions for this year. And yeah, I need to eventually clean the house as well. Like actually like dust and everything. But I don't have time to do that today because I have a big house. And I clean it all by myself. My boyfriend doesn't help me. I'm going to have to do that on a different day. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tackle taking all this Christmas stuff down and I'll probably give you guys a glimpse of what my new uh, memory book looks like and also give you guys a little bit of a flip through of my 2021 memory book that I made as well. I need to finish it up. I've still got like two pages in there I need to do. But yeah and I also have to go through all of that so I'm gonna be a very busy bee but uh she thought I was gonna take her picture and she got really mad at me. You don't like your picture taken, do you, baby? But you're pretty. How can mommy not take a picture of you? You're beautiful. And you're so photogenic, just like your bubby. Pretty girl.
bugs. No, don't chew on that. Glitter baby, that'll hurt you. I'm gonna do a little, I guess, like spell, if you wanna call it that, for the new year. This is something I made up. I did not find this online. I mean, I've seen several people doing like the 2022 thing um, on TikTok, but nothing like this, so. I'm gonna choose a color. I'm gonna go with this light purple. Now I'm gonna write 2022. Let's light our candle. Alrighty. So here's my 2022. Some salt. I want to create a circle around 2022. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. I'm just kind of <laughs> going about this as I go. Okay, so now it has salt on it. I'm also going to be putting some cat whiskers on the inside of it for protection for the new year. Um, because for all my witchy friends who did not know, cat whiskers are actually a good form of protection against negative energies. So I'll put some key whiskers down in there. And um, this doesn't mean you go and pull whiskers from your cat's face. You wait until they shed naturally because they will. Um, but don't go just like pulling cat whiskers off your cat's face. That's not cool. I got my sage here and what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna like sage around the 2022 and I'm gonna kind of visualize how I want the new year to go in my head as I'm saging it. Sorry the oven's beeping. So before I do that let me go get the oven. Um, but I'm gonna like sage around it and just kind of like visualize how I want the new year to go. I may even do a little chant. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. And if you are someone who does not believe in witchcraft, that's totally fine. But what the hell are you doing on my channel? Because my channel is all about that. Uh, something told me I should have got a new one of these. That will help.
Let me be filled with joy and cheer and happiness throughout the new year. Let me be filled with joy and cheer and happiness throughout the new year. Let me be filled with joy and cheer and happiness throughout the new year. So might it be. My battery is dying, but I'm probably just going to take this outside and either burn it or bury it. See you guys after a while. <laughs> I gotta charge my battery. Okay, so I didn't get to show you guys on my camera because my battery was going dead. I need to uh, fix the battery, but I did end up going over each side of the 2022 thing that I made with some string three times on each end and then tied it up almost as if to bind it and kind of like I don't know if it was such a good idea binding it but um I put all my positive energy and visualized what I wanted to happen and now I'm gonna go bury it somewhere <laughs> This is what we've done. This is kind of hard to do. Um, but I'm going to take my table salt again and say my little chant. Alright. Um, may I be filled with love and cheer and happiness throughout the new year. May I be filled with love and cheer and happiness throughout the new year. May I be filled with love and cheer and happiness throughout the new year. Okay. There's something behind my house. All right, it's all buried. Alrighty, loves. It is a few hours later now, and I am now home from work. Thankfully, we got off kind of early. It was kind of dead, to be honest. I don't even know why we are open on New Year's Eve, because it was kind of dead. But it's okay. <laughs> I still get some money, so that's all that matters. Um... And I still get to watch the ball drop. So when I got home, I just touched up my makeup. I took my OnlyFans pictures and I took some pictures just now. And I am in my pajamas <laughs> and I'm gonna go through and finish my 2021 memory book. Go through it, <laughs> go through what I can tonight anyway and watch the ball drop. So yeah, I also got me some Welch's sparkling grape juice. I know I'm of age. But I only like drinks when they're mixed with something or wine coolers because I, I just, I'm not a big alcohol drinker, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to pop that open here in a little bit and give me a little drinky drink. But yeah, here's to 2022. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys my 2021 memory book. So this is the front. I decorated it with all kinds of stickers. I remember I started like a little um, series for it and I kind of just like stopped. <laughs> so my apologies for that. This is going to be my 2022 memory book and it's Mickey and Minnie Mouse and it says always find something to smile about which I thought was perfect. This is the same um, happy planner brand. Sorry about my ucky nails. And I just put some wire in the little binder part. And I put 2022. I put a little, um, what is his name? Oh shoot, I forgot his name, but he's from Sanrio. And I got some heart stickers over here and a llama. And then I just put memories down here. Oh my god, was it Tuxedo Sam or something like that? I don't remember. Um, <laughs> my baby's wanting my attention. My baby. She is my baby girl. 
Then over here, I just put this book belongs to Melanie Kennison. It came with a bunch of stickers and like um, this is a little envelope. It says look for magic in every day, which I really like. I thought that went with it very well. Um, then there's this. Also came with some paper. Sorry, she's wanting my attention. Then I left this in here. I was trying to get creative. Uh, I just put the greatest adventure is what lies ahead because I thought that that was perfect. And then I have in this book, you will find funny, happy, and good memories throughout the year of 2022. Um, it has like different columns. Then I just have my goals for 2022. Then, you know, I'm going to decorate all of this. You guys know me. I like how this one has, which I'm not going to put week of. I'm going to go by the month. But this one has like list out three things that are making me feel comforted, inspired, happy, like different little things like that, which I thought was really cute. Um, obviously, I'm going to make all of this my own. I might leave these just because I really think that they're cute. I'm not sure yet, but this is all I have in it so far. Um, I might leave these in here too because I really like that. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole book. Um, and then I've got some other journals that I'm going to be working on this year as well. You might see it in some vlogs every now and then. Um, so this is by the same lady who made Wreck This Journal. And this one's called This Is Not A Book. So I'm going to do this once every single day until I finish it. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty much like the same thing. Like you just take it and do different stuff with it. Um, but if you guys would like for me to make a whole series on this, I surely will. And then I also have this, which is called Today I Affirm a Journal, a journal that nurtures self-care, and it's by a lady named Alexandra L. Um, so I'm big into like affirmations, spiritual stuff, as you guys know. Um, affirmations are a good way of manifesting so I do them every single day it says what am I in this moment what do I want to become today I affirm so I'm gonna be doing this once every day as well yeah I thought I'd show you guys my journals and um, what I'm gonna be working on this year <laughs> Nine, 20, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! <laughs>